Oh, Valve are up to their old tricks, up to their shenanigans. They um, that the the weekly video at the VGAs came out, and obviously people took it apart frame by frame, trying to find information on Half Life Three in there. <laughs> Um, 4chan composed an email to Gabe Newell, um, each <laughs> posting <laughs> one word each until the email was done. So it was basically just, you know, fat nigga, fat, fat, bastard, fat, fuck, just over and over, with occasional references to Half-Life 3 and the Dead for Dead. Um, Gabe, Newell, uh, Gabe Newell responded by saying something along the lines of, look, if it's going to calm your rage down we will announce something uh, at E3-12. Um, we'll be announcing all your favourite things. And then he went on to say that it's something three in it. And that was followed Let's up... Portal 3! Woo! Portal 3! I'm hoping it's a three ninjas game. <laughs> this game is one of the unsung classics, classics of the 16-bit. <laughs> I want them to release Ricochet 2 just so they can release Ricochet 3. Lost Vikings 3. Could be Lost Vikings 3. Could be anything. But obviously people are hoping the Half-Life 3. I hope it's Left 4 Dead 3 just to further upset people. <laughs> or no, Portal 3 because that came out this year. So if they announce that at E3 12 for uh, let's say August of that year <laughs> that would be perfect. They can have that one for free. Well, and what they should do is they should set up like a pre-order program with some big puzzle thing, and you can they can start it like right at E3, and then you can have the whole game by a certain date, and then they'll give it to them one minute before their release, and it could be a big fun. Everyone will have a good time with that. I'm waiting because I reckon Valve could get away with it. They could do a vid like vid send us videos of you eating dog shit, and there's a fifty percent chance we might ever announce Half Life Three when we want to. And people would be doing it. You get videos on Reddit of people, oh, I'm double fisting it. Oh, 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 white dog shit that's been out in the sun. <laughs> they will do it. If any company in this industry could make its fans eat dog shit, Valve could do it. And that's a high accolade. And I put that on a certificate and give it to them. We put a lot of trust in them that they don't make us eat dog shit, don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the power they have for them to not abuse it, they, they're up there with Spider-Man when it comes to being responsible with what they, ha well, what they can do. It's, it's inhuman because they could be capable of, of doing anything. Uh, here we go. Uh, so E.G. Onimuna said to OP, uh, official Nintendo magazine, he uh, could not imagine going back to classic button controls now. The future of the Zelda series is in the Skyward Sword motion controls. Oh, okay. I will take that off of my <laughs> games that I like then. No offense to motion controls as a concept, but... I didn't like them in Skyward Sword. I thought they took things that were previously quite straightforward and made sense and then convoluted and fucked them up just for the sake of it. Like, I've got no problem with motion control if they add to something, but I'm sorry, I don't want every sword fight to be a glorified game of Simon Says. It's not really what I played Zelda for. I, I thought it, it breaks up the atmosphere when you have to stop what you're doing to play Simon Says, and then go back, it breaks it into a very sequential thing. I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm in the minority. The game has, has done very, very well for itself, so more power to them, but I think I will gracefully step away from Zelda if that's the direction it's going in. Well, you would think that those kind of encounters would have more of an impact if they weren't every encounter was like that. If, if they just had special, let's say like boss fights, for instance, if that's where you're, you're using this, uh, using the Wii Motion Plus, maybe that would be different. But or if they just gave you the option to not have to do it, that'd be probably a good idea. 
So you're saying that you know the repetitive action of it takes away from the actual charm and benefit of using the motion controls by by virtue of putting it everywhere throughout the game, uh, it lessens its impact and mm -hmm. makes it feel more like a chore than an enjoyable additive experience. Mm, yeah, I agree with that. Also, the fact that they say that when you've got the motion controller, it makes for a more naturalistic sword fight. But in order for it to work as a video game, it becomes less naturalistic than ever. No one, when they're in a sword fight, does what they do in Skyward Sword, where they stop, stand in front of you with their sword like that, and go, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> it, it makes it so unrealistic. I haven't had the uh, pleasure yet. Yeah, same here, so... I, I mean, I... I... I didn't mind it in Twilight Princess, but I haven't tried to play Twilight Princess again since I played it right after the Wii released, and it was still a novel thing. Uh, and so I don't know if I want to play another Zelda that's you know so dependent on the motion control aspect, and if this is more than ever. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, fair play, because uh, you know, some people get upset if you don't like the new Zelda, and they do. Um, fair play if you do like it. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for liking it, uh, but it is not for me. It's not, And it's not, you know, oh, 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 the Philistine, he doesn't like it when it is new. He doesn't like innovation. Oh. I think it's a step back. I don't think it's a step forward. I'm not afraid of it because it's change. It feels like a regression. Uh, and, and, you know, that's just the way I feel. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I've got no interest in Zelda if that's... It's going to be really funny when Nintendo PR issues a statement. They're like, he, this was misinterpreted. Uh, there's something to be concerned yeah. about. <laughs> I guess that's another point, is when Nintendo says something, it's never proof that it's ever going to happen, ever. You can expect them to say the exact opposite thing, like, two days yeah. later. Especially when, I mean, you know, producers, developers, they get excited about a concept and think, you know, I'm going to do this forever, and then they quickly get bored of it. Like, most, there are so many developers and publishers that are like, oh, 3D gaming is the future, we will never not want to do 3D. Um, but that's not a guarantee that they won't get bored of it. They get very overexcited about a concept while they're doing it. Um, but we all do. And then a few years later, we look back at it and think, what the fuck were we thinking? And then we do things like normal people. Until the next big thing comes along. Yes, oh yes. How many different pairs of sunglasses do you have, Jim? Uh, not many. They, they always get lost because I take them with me on trips. And then they don't come back, so I have to buy a new pair. These ones I just saw in a garage and they had red on them, so I picked them up because colour coding. It's just mm. these, the silvery mirrored ones that I can't use because they reflect back up, like off the lights into the camera and makes everything look like a nuclear blast went off, so... Yeah. Yeah. I want to get you some Elton John glasses. You know, the white <laughs> ones? I always like those. I want to get him some pinball. Get him some big ass platform pinball wizard boots. Hell yeah! Let's just start buying him clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll turn him into our real life paper doll. We'll just dress up Jim Sterling. Oh, those things are so creepy. Those websites where you have the, the little like the t teenage girls that you can dress up. Have you oh, seen yeah. those? Yeah, yeah and, like, I didn't think anybody actually went and used those things, and I found out, much to my chagrin, that was not the case. I'm Maybe surprised at the pair of you. I wouldn't have expected such such of a philistine attitude. They are legitimate art form, very much like anything else. And, and I don't wank over them. It's not like that. It is an art thing, like what Pee Wee Herman was doing with those pictures that he got <laughs> off the internet. I feel bad for him. <laughs> we, were, we were mean to him. Well, I wasn't, but people were. <laughs> Wait, the was, poor there man. A new, was there a new Paul Rubens incident? or are we? No, still we're talking about the one. In the theater. 
I mean, yeah, that that was unfortunate. I oh, mean, it really could have happened yeah. to any of us. How dare Paul Rubens masturbate in a porn theater? What else was he gonna do in there? I know it's it's like George Michael in that that uh, men's restroom. We all know what those are for. Yeah. If whenever you see a man going into a public <laughs> bathroom, he's in there to get some serious cock. Exactly. It's a fact. This is what we all go in there for at airports, bars. This is a tip for any of the ladies, you know, that if if you see your husband or boyfriend or significant other go in there, he's in there for a hand shandy. And yeah. presumably that's what the ladies are doing when they go in theirs as well. Yeah, because men don't actually urinate. It's all just a conspiracy. Can you imagine urinating out of the same place you come? That's disgusting. Whoever believes that is as... It's just... The gullibility of... Wake up, sheeple. Yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> Never forget. 